where I'm going to be explaining the rules of collegiate wrestling, which is very similar to high school wrestling. So and this is the one you're going to see on TV and NCAAs when they're on around March. Um, so I'm going to get into that. Here we go. So, first of all, collegiate wrestling, otherwise known as college, folk style, scholastic, or NCAA wrestling, is a form of wrestling that is very popular in the United States. Wrestling matches are contested between two people on a rubber mat that measures a maximum of 42 feet in diameter for college and 28 feet in diameter in high school. The start lines are three feet apart and have different colored start lines for each wrestler. Each wrestler is tagged with a different colored band around their ankles. The object of the game is to wrestle the opponent and win by either pin or by points. To win by pin, also known as win by fall, you must get your opponent on their back so that their shoulder blades touch the floor. If you successfully pin your opponent's shoulder blades to the floor, the referee will tap the mat and you will win the contest automatically. This is known as winning by fall or winning by pin. If neither wrestler can pin each other, you can score points to win the contest instead. But before I explain how to score, you have to understand the positions of a wrestler. This is the neutral position. This is where both wrestlers are on their feet and facing each other. And this is the defensive position, where one wrestler is on his hands and knees and generally on the bottom. This is the offensive position, where one wrestler is above with hands on the waist and forearm and generally on top. These two positions collectively is known as the referee's position. There are five main ways of scoring. If you manage to take your opponent down onto the mat with control over them, this is a takedown and it's worth two points. While in a defensive position, if you manage to get away from the wrestler or get yourself into the neutral position, this is an escape and it's worth one point. While in a defensive position, if you manage to come from the bottom and take control of your opponent on top, this is a reversal and it scores two points. If you're in an offensive position, if you almost pin your opponent, are in a dominant position with control, the referee will start counting down. This is known as a near fall. You get two points if you hold the wrestler in this position for two to four seconds. And you get more points for holding the opponent for longer. And this is denoted in the table on the screen right now. You get three points. Okay. If you do something wrong, the referee might award penalty points to your opponent. There's numerous ways that this can happen, which are denoted on the screen. But the most common penalty is stalling, where one wrestler repeatedly prevents the other from scoring by avoiding action or intentionally protecting a lead by moving out of bounds. A wrestling match is contested in three periods of two minutes each. If someone doesn't win by fall, the wrestler with the highest score at the end of three periods wins. If the scores are tied, extra periods are played to determine the winner. That's the bare bones of collegiate wrestling, but there's a few things you'll need to know before watching or, or contesting a match. For example, start position. At the beginning of the first period, both wrestlers start in a neutral position. At the beginning of the second period, one wrestler is given the choice to start in either the offensive or defensive position, or to defer his choice until the third period. At the beginning of the third period, the other wrestler is given the same choice. Technical fall. If one wrestler gets 15 points advantage over their opponent, the referee will end the contest immediately and that wrestler will win by technical fall. You can also win by major decision. If a wrestler scores 1 to 7 points more than their opponent in the end of 3 periods, this is known as winning by decision. If a wrestler scores 8 to 14 points more than their opponent at the end of 3 periods, this is known as winning by major decision. And as previously mentioned, winning by 15 points or more results in a technical fall. Win by default, forfeit, or disqualification. If a wrestler cannot continue to the match, the opponent will be awarded a win by default. If the wrestler fails to appear onto the mat before the contest, the opponent will be awarded a win by forfeit. If a wrestler accrues too many penalties or is banned from competing further by the referee, the opponent will win by disqualification. Riding time. This is only in college. If a wrestler is controlling an opponent in a way that prevents an escape or reversal, a running clock will count how long he is riding in that position. This is known as riding time. 
This happens with both wrestlers. At the end of the periods, if one wrestler has the time advantage of at least one minute more than his opponent, he will be awarded one point at the end of the third period. This could be the difference between winning or not. That's a lot to take in, but once you've watched wrestling for a while, the rules will become more clear. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in joining the wrestling team, see Coach Egan in the Phys Ed area. If you'd like to come out and watch us compete, we compete in the Fieldhouse. Look out for the schedule around the beginning of December.